Dear humans, what is up? It's Saturday. I don't usually work Saturdays, but here I am working a Saturday. All the crew is out in Myrtle Beach, which is why I cranked out that 90s backpack slash quick creep dunk video yesterday in seconds flat. I really cranked that one out. I'm going to do this one too, but uh, this one's a little bore. I'm not as stressed because I've got Hayden here uh, working the front of the store. So this one I can kind of be mellow with, but this is another Nike video. Here you go. We got your Mason Silva Nike Zoom Blazer Mid Mason Silva Quick Strike size nine in your purple box. It says Quick Strike, but it's in a purple box. Isn't that what QS stands for? What's up with that? Let's bust it open. Wow, there you go, guys. So upon first look at this shoe, I thought it was black. In all of the photos I see online, I thought it was black, but it really is a very deep, deep navy. This is blackened blue, in case you were wondering. Blackened blue and wolf gray. So there's your wolf gray double layered swoosh and you've got that really nice uh, pebble grain leather on this thing. Boom, both sides. Pretty freaking sick blazer. I was wondering what the, um, the first Nike SB blazer was, and I think it was this black and brown one. Um, I kind of remember being hyped on blazers coming into SB, because at first they weren't there, and I was like, man, I can't really remember what the first one was. But I do remember having like the vanilla ice ones and the, the uh, Mickey Reyes, the San Francisco one that was like kind of a collab with real skateboards. Um, there was an independent truck one that was weird back in the day. Was, the milk crate one was pretty awesome. That one is probably the most famous, maybe? The milk crate blazer from back then. Or maybe it's the, um, the vanilla ice. That was part of a Icons, Fallen Icons pack, which was um, MC Hammer had a Nike SB Classic. I don't know if you guys remember the Classic. I've got a few Classics in my collection but this is your mason silva blazer mid and you've got this chain link uh embossing nike on the back which is pretty sick so again i just wanted to to reiterate that this is blackened blue so it's very very dark navy and then you've got this all white outsole with the uh, traditional herringbone um grip on the bottom which is super grippy you know you guys i know you guys have skated blazers before you can you can kind of see that it's a little bit lighter navy on the edges of the seams right there so i mean just like any leather shoe when the outer part wears down you're gonna have like cool looking lighter layers of leather poking through on that shoe. So that'll look cool. Kind of scratch off, but not like 100% scratch off. So there is your Mason Silva tongue detail right there. And you've got the original OG foam uh, tongue on that blazer. So yeah, I like these exposed tongues. I like the unfinished tongue. I know that's a point of uh, contention with some people. But the unfinished tongue looks cool to me. I really like it. It gives it that vintage vibe on all these premium materials. You also do have a white flat lace with these and it has the silver aglets on there, just like the silver aglets on the navy laces that come with it. So a little bit elevated um, laces come with it as well. It just gives it a little bit nicer vibe, matches the silver or wolf gray. Uh, double layered swoosh on that. Can you see the double layers? Pretty dope. Also have this art on the back of the tongue tag right there. Uh, I guess maybe this is some Mason Silva art. They didn't tell us much about this, so. Um, but it must be pretty dope though. Reminds me of some Neil Blender shit right there. That's pretty sick. 
little bit a little nil blendery not really but you know just just being that it's art done by a skateboarder i'm assuming so there you go there are your insoles with your sock liner exposed right there you have your nike sb branding with mason silva on one side and you have your um zoom airbag on the heel but not like the dunks this does not have a pour on forefoot so this is going to have less shock absorption in the forefoot of the shoe, but you will get more board feel. And then there's that art again on the, on the heel of that sock liner. Pow. I think that is pretty much it for this one, guys. I'm pretty sure these release on the 28th of April. So stay tuned for that. Pay attention to Blue Tile SC on Instagram for pricing and all that good stuff. I bet it's a hundred bucks. I am guessing I should have looked that up, but just pay attention to Blue Tile SC on Instagram and we will post all the details for you soon. I believe Mason Silva was supposed to have a shoe to come out and celebrate his Skater of the Year award in 2020, but due to um, COVID and shipping and manufacturing delays and all that stuff, I believe that's what we have now. So don't quote me on that, but I think that's what I've heard on the streets, and I'm pretty sure that's the vibe. So there you go. It doesn't matter if it is or isn't. It's still a very sick blazer if you want to grab some blazers. Guys, blazers fit true to size for me. Um, I think that you will find the same thing. They are hard to get on at first because you really have to unlace everything pull all those laces out, relace it to your foot, and then once you do that, they're super easy to get on and off, but they are true to size for me. That's it, guys. I think I'm gonna wrap this one up. This is a Saturday video for you guys. Usually I don't work Saturdays. Um, sometimes I schedule videos for Saturdays, um, but today, I'm gonna get this out to you today. So thank you for watching. All the best. Love Blue Tile, all that good stuff. Um, goodbye.